What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the FIFA 23 Liverpool Career Mode Show and Fabinho has been sold to Juventus for 50 million pounds and the January transfer window is very very close to being open so let me know out of all the players that Liverpool have been linked with which midfielders should we sign and I'm, re I'm of course I will sign Dominic Soboslai we already have Alexis McAllister and I'm tempted to sign of course uh, of course uh, Lavia who is only 76 rated but I think I will sign one more player and that could be Ibrahim Sangari who I think uh, Liverpool are linked with in real life do you think it's unrealistic to sign him in this career world because he plays for Man United let me know in the comments below and of course if you enjoy these videos and if if you are happy that the series is back leave a like and we play Manchester United in the first game but also we have big games against West Ham and Leeds United we are in really good form we won all of our games in December and we played Chelsea as well and Man City and Tottenham in January so big big games coming up what a team Man United have they have some amazing new signings Lautaro Martinez Goretzka Sangare a Liverpool transfer target and they also signed the Tomori from AC Milan and let's try and beat them at Old Trafford. There's arguably no greater rivalry in English football. They're certainly the two most successful teams with passionate fan bases. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action live from Old Trafford as Manchester United face Liverpool. Welcome to Old Trafford, uh, let's try and win here, this is the most uh, special game uh, and, and the most the special stadium to win at and also it's a League Cup quarter final so this is a very very important game Go on Jota, to Moussa, what a goal, what a start, what a finish, Moussa he still got it and we are doing the greedy celebration this is the absolute perfect start Robertson to Jota who slips in Salah and he nonchalantly finds the top corner what a banger oh no oh no Jadon Sancho is in oh my goodness oh what a block please Oh my god, Salah is in again and Salah scores again! We are turning up at Old Trafford! Blocking incredibly dangerous shots on the counter-attack, Salah punishes the bad finishing of Man United, or rather I should say the great defending by us led to this second goal. Brilliant! Salah? Crossing possibilities. Go on. And Nunez! Oh my word, what a save the hell. Guardiola, I need you. Dude, don't you dare. Oh, Alisson. Trent. Two. Luis Diaz hits the bar. No. Uh oh. Oh no way, Alisson again, what a fantastic goalkeeping. Jonathan David, please keeper, Alisson, ooh. No. Oh come on, Alisson, brilliant save. Are you kidding me? I give the ball away around my own penalty area and Man United are back in it. That was a grave mistake, a really bad error. I should have passed it to the wing, but Darwin Nunez, I tried to be too clever and you get punished instantly. Oh my goodness, they are holding my player. What? Martinez! Oh, Alisson! Leon Goretzka, it's looking promising. No. Lautaro Martinez, 2-2. I should have just taken him out. He's such a brilliant finisher. Needed just a little bit of space. He bursts past my defender and finishes it. And Man United from 2-0 down are back in this game. Really? Goretzka? No! What a lucky break. Goretzka hits the post. No way. Fernandez, is he onside? No! What? The left back scores an absolute 
bang or a man united are in front we were turning up and cruising at half time such a turnaround man united from turning down to lead 3-2 and we really need a miracle now to equalize go on hunt adam hunt please adam hunt what on earth oh my goodness how did we not score that it's so painful to lose to man united our biggest rivals in a cup quarter final i don't care if it's only the league cup we were tuning up after 40 minutes we should have won this game we had the chances and man united in the second half were clinical the xg was pretty even yes man united had more shots especially in the second half they scored three really really good goals but the fir their first goal came from my mistake so that was that's why I, i'm really annoyed because i frankly i don't think man united were the better team they just were more clinical and also they took advantage of our big mistake we got the final scout report of moises caicedo i don't think liverpool have a realistic chance of signing him in this uh, transfer window in real life so i'm leaning towards not signing him in this career mode and oh wow Wow, he has surprisingly good finishing for a player who is mainly a defensive midfielder 84 finishing so now this West Ham game is very very important we need to get uh, back to winning ways and we need to keep our winning run going in uh, the Premier League let's go we simply have to focus on this man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league welcome to the West Ham Stadium they are forever blowing bubbles as the West Ham anthem goes uh, let's spoil them their party and win here oh no Werner oh my what a goal Timo Werner puts it perfectly into the top corner that is an absolutely crazy finish out of nothing he gets the ball and I'm trying to close him down with Guardio but before I know it the ball is in the back of the net wow Oh my word, they hit the bar! Jota, please, Diogo! Jota hits the bar! But now Vinícius from the rebound, he heads in a really, really nice goal. It's 1-1, we are right back in this game. What a brilliant turn by Jota, his shot is a little bit too powerful, but look at Nunez. I very rarely score headers, but Darwin Nunez is such a menace in the air. Just hearing there's been a goal in the Blackburn Rovers game. Oh no. Oh no, he's in! And he scores! The West Ham winger scores another goal! This is ridiculous that West Ham are so efficient. It's Puado, the Spanish tricky winger. It seems like every chance that the opposition gets, it results in a goal. Puado, brilliant curling finish, to be honest. Sometimes we have to do it. Are you kidding? Kobu, please, Kobu! Nice! Love that! Gakpo. Go on, Gakpo. Jota, please! Diogo Jota! Good save! Please! Jota! Has to finish it! Jota, no! Jota, what are you doing? Losing to West Ham away after losing to Man United as well. It really hurts, especially because we have won every game in December up until this episode. I'm really disappointed. I'm just a little bit rusty playing FIFA. I haven't played a lot of FIFA because I was going on a couple of holidays. Really, really annoyed that I lost these games because I felt again that I had the chances, especially with Jota at the end, to get to at least a draw from this game but at least Man United lost as well I also wanted to show you that, that in the League Cup Man City went through just like Man United and that there could be a Man United Man City League Cup final but it's only the League Cup so I'm not too bothered about getting knocked out but now we're at the halfway stage of the Premier League season we are leading the table because Man City and Man United both lost which is brilliant for us Chelsea won the 
and Brentford are cut adrift, but all the, all the other teams are in the mix uh, to fight against relegation. Darwin Nunez is still the top scorer in the Premier League, uh, but we need to start scoring more goals and defending better. Luis Diaz has the most assists in the league, Gakpo and Nunez also are up there. And Kobo kept five clean sheets already and Alisson three, so that's pretty decent. I'm rotating the team just a little bit, Connor Bradley comes in and Declan Rice and Adam Hunt because we play Chelsea in three days, but this game is now even more important after losing back-to-back -back games, let's bounce back. Welcome to Anfield, the Ian Rush Tifo is out, let's hope that is inspires us to, into scoring goals and winning this game. Surely not. Unbelievable! Leeds United take the lead in the 49th minute. The time was already up. And what is it with the AI scoring with almost every chance that they have? That is a blasting finish by Udley. Wow. Adam Hunt to Darwin Nunez has to finish it. Yes! Darwin Nunez, we are back in this game. Let's get the ball and let's try and uh, get the winner here. Come on! Brilliant pass by Adam Hunt. Darwin Nunez was in acres of space and of course he will finish that. Oh no. Come on! Oh! Salah. Gakpo, please, Gakpo! What a finish! Connie Gakpo, he just came out as a substitute. I put him up as a striker because he is on a great goal scoring run this season and he shows why I keep faith with him. Brilliant! What a finish, Gakpo. Seven goals already for Gakpo in the league. Nice. Really, really important comeback after Leeds United took the lead on the stroke of half time. It was vital that we won this game in the second half. And I think we deserved it. Leeds barely had any chances apart from their goal. And in the second half, we bossed the game. And Darwin Nunez was the man of the match. He scored a brilliant goal. And we sold a lot of players, as uh, evidenced by these massive. Fabinho went to Juventus, Ugarte went to Real Madrid, Declan Rice went to PSG and we sold a lot of youth academy players and Carvalho went to Leipzig um, as well, just like he did in real life. And we desperately need a brilliant defensive midfielder after we sold Ugarte, Declan Rice and Fabinho and uh, Ibrahima Sangare, even though he plays at Man United. I wonder if we could uh, sign him. I'm not sure if Man United would do a business with Liverpool, but apparently they do business with Liverpool. And let's offer them a 50 million pound transfer fee for Sangare. Oh wow, they want Tino Livramento. Wow, I can understand understand why because Livramento is a pretty brilliant player. Let's offer them 55 million instead and let's pretend Sangari is still playing for PSV Eindhoven um, and uh, they agree with the 55 million so Sangari can become a Liverpool player now. The important squad role is fine, I'm happy with that. Alright, he wants a three-year contract. Uh, you know what, let's give him a four-year contract and uh, we can sell him on if he starts to decline rapidly. Let's give him a 130k weekly wages and let's see what he says to that. Okay, he wants a signing bonus, so let's give him 145 instead. So he will be happy with his wages. And there it is, Ibrahim Sangare, our first big signing in the January transfer window for 55 million pounds and he's badly needed after selling three defensive midfielders. And Fabinho is leaving to Juventus. In real life he went for Saudi Arabia. And I think uh, Liverpool didn't really want to sell him, but uh, the 40 million pound offer was too good to turn down. And there it is, Sangare joins Liverpool from Man United. Absolutely fantastic signing. And we get a B on the price rating, nice. And we also want to sign Dominic Soboslai. I want to check out his stats though. So Dominic Soboslai 
Wesley scored one goal in the Champions League. He played all of the games for Atletico Madrid. And by the way, also Sangari already played 18 times for Man United, scoring one goal and getting one assist. And I'm so happy that finally Dominic Solosley got his game face on this game and let's sign him. He's the best rated player on our transfer shortlist and their asking price could be as high as a hundred million pounds. And no, I don't want to pay his release clothes, which is an absolutely ridiculously high. So let's offer them a good 80 million pounds. And uh, wow, Atletico Madrid accepted it straight away. And to be honest, in real life, Dominic Sobosley cost around uh, 70 million euros, which was around 60 million pounds. Uh, so let's go in and negotiate with Dominic Sobosley himself on his player wages. And Sangare is 86 rated. He was happy with the 145k weekly wages. So let's give Dominic Sobosley 170k weekly wages. And he looks as handsome in the game as he does in real life. And he's happy with the 170k weekly wages so Dominic Sobosley welcome to Liverpool I'm so happy with this signing absolutely brilliant and Declan Rice is leaving Liverpool of course he went to Arsenal in real life in this career mode he's going to PSG and there it is Dominic Sobosley welcome to Liverpool for 80 million I think uh, we a little bit overpaid for him but according to this we got an excellent deal apparently he's 88 rated oh wow he can play a lot of positions as well and straight away I'm giving him the number eight shirt of course just like he is having a number eight shirt in real life he should have the same in career mode and there is welcome to Liverpool Dominic Solosley what a signing he is going to be absolutely fantastic I'm overjoyed about this and Sangari is also presented to the Liverpool fans. That's also a fantastic signing. And some some uh, teams already played one game more. Man United won and Everton won. So this next game against Chelsea is crucial. If we lose to Chelsea, the title race will be blown wide open. It's still open as it is. And of course, Dominic Sovoslai and Sangari make their Liverpool debuts in this one. And uh, Chelsea have a stacked team and it's interesting that Diaby who went to Aston Villa in real life he's already playing in the Premier League in this career mode they have a very strong defense let's go invariably one of the highlights of any season two clubs who represent an unconditional commitment to excellence as Chelsea take on Liverpool welcome to Stamford Bridge and that Ashley Cole Tifo looks brilliant he was one of the best left backs of the whole Premier League era oh wow Diaby what a turn Diaby watch the cutback oh listen oh oh my word live romento chests the ball down off the line this man might be a decent shout what do you expect oh my goodness look at cunha look at how fast he is but the cut his cutback is not good enough go on gakpo gakpo is in gakpo has to finish it could it have 1-0? We are in front at Stamford Bridge and this is a really really big goal because Chelsea are also in the title race and Cody Gakpo keeps his good goal scoring run going. I just waited for Gakpo to race clear, beat the offside trap and finish it all. Oh the Liverpool fans are loving this. I think that's good value. Because if he does oh, look at Gakpo. Form, oh, and the keeper is up, his love is lying, and Cody Gakpo! It's an absolute well, genius of a goal! Keeper. I saw the keeper off running. his line, so I thought, let's chip him! And it worked like a right. charm. Sure. Look at the space Gakpo is in. One touch, and that is absolute top class the vision by Gakpo to chip the keeper from there is magnificent brilliant goal oh no Chukwueze, Kaya Wurz, Kaya Wurz, oh Alisson and oh wow Sangare can play as a center back as well that's good to know because he is very very tall and he has pretty good defensive awareness as well well that's a super ball over the top Oh, oh, Kite Gordon. Kite Gordon is in! And... 
Wonderful header. Oh my goodness, what a weird goal, but it's offside. It probably is offside. Oh wow. Oh, go on Darwin Nunez. I mean, Luis Diaz. Oh. And another, okay. Yes, finally we are back to our best, I think. Gakpo scored two fantastic goals, especially his second one was brilliant. And I think we deserved it. We outplayed and dominated Chelsea. We had 10 shots, more XG. And I mean, look at the amount of uh, chances that we had, especially in the second half. And Cody Gakpo was the man of the match. Fantastic. Man City won, so we kept our four point lead ahead of them. And we put real distance between ourselves and the rest of the chasing pack. Arsenal and Tottenham are in big, big trouble. They both failed to win in this round and they are very very far away from the European places at the moment. Brentford at least got a victory against Bournemouth so they have a lifeline. Darwin Nunez is the top scorer but Cunha of Chelsea is very close to him and Jota has 12 goals already as well. So Darwin Nunez is our top scorer but Gakpo is second surprisingly. Jota has slowed down a little bit his goal scoring but still his goals to games ratio is as good as anyone in the squad and Salah is also banging in the goals uh, Luis Diaz. I need a little bit more from Diaz, he's a little bit underwhelming this season but Gakpo picked up the slack from him. And in the next episode I'm looking to make even more transfers uh, so we can beef up the squad. I'm looking to sign Romeo Lavia and other players as well. So really looking forward to the next episode. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later. Goodbye.